discovering that your true nature is awareness only brings you halfway to a fundamental shift in perspective. Some call it an awakening um, as to who you really are. Sure, you've discovered that everything that enters into your awareness is not what you are. You are that pure awareness. You found that. That's great. That's There's a lot of freedom right there. And you can stop right there. Most, a lot do. You know, a lot, a lot of people teach, again, I'm not a teacher, teach from the place of just telling the you that you are awareness and they're right. But what is often missing and what leads to a true awakening and ultimately liberation is investigating the nature of that awareness. Okay, if I am awareness, what does that mean? What is that? What is awareness? What are the qualities of it? Are there any? Is there a limit to awareness? There's a limit to sight, but is there a limit to awareness? Your senses are limited, but awareness itself, is anything excluded from awareness? Can anything not enter awareness? If you're aware of your internal body sensations, as well as the external, things external to your body, isn't the difference merely... uh, a concept? What is the nature of this awareness then? If there's no boundaries, there's no limits, what about me? What does that mean for me as awareness? (laughs) this is where the me or the self begins to drop away and your true nature begins to blossom I can only bring you to the doorstep you have to step through if liberation is truly your your goal